We, I have one. And, um, what's your name? My name's Connie. Connie? Nice Connie? I'm, I'm Ariel. I'm Elder Ariel. You can you can call this number and we'll let you know that we're going to do a study. Okay, cool. Thank yeah, you. We, we do studies. Well, it, it's kind of been shut down. We do them at the library and what we were doing. Okay. We're trying to get a building. But right now it's been shut down, so we're trying to we're trying to resume them. Okay. Yeah, yeah see if the Lord sends them. They have to be sent by the Lord. That's all I'm to say the word. The word is what's going to do it. Chasing people and all that ain't going to do it. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us were. And see, he's, he's not being slack. And see, a thousand years is like a day unto the Lord. This is why it's, it seems like it's been so long of Christ's return. Because his timing is different than our timing. Go ahead. Not willing that any should perish. Because he doesn't want any to perish. This is why he's, he's this is the grace. And the, the, this is the grace period. So you can get your life in order now. Go ahead. But that all should come to repentance. Because he wants all to come to repentance. This is what the thing is. Why he's had this grace. Go ahead. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. But this is how he's coming. He's coming like a thief in the night. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And that's still talking about the nuclear destruction. All these prophets were getting into it. How that, nu that when they're talking about the fire, that's talking about that nuclear destruction. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. He says it's gonna. This place is gonna get burned up. This is how Christ is gonna judge. He says because in righteousness we're gonna be established. Go ahead. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in a holy conversation and godliness? And see, seeing that all these things are going to be dissolved, Peter said, what kind of person should you be but be in all holiness and righteousness? This is how you should be, That's knowing right. that all these things are going to be dissolved. Go ahead. Luke 12, verse 49. I am come to set fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? And see, he's coming to send that fire on the earth. This is what Christ is coming to do. John 15, verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Christ is saying that even in the Gospel of John. He says they're going to be cast into the fire where they are burned. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, I've created the smith that blew the coals in the fire. So now he's saying how he's given the wisdom and knowledge and understanding of them to make the nuclear weapons. He says, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals and the waster. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I've created the waster to destroy. And he's given this knowledge to these nations so they can put, go one against another to destroy each other. This is why he gave them all this capacity and all this understanding to build these weapons so that he can judge them. Go ahead. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. But no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. Go ahead. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. And if you come up against us in judgment, Christ is going to condemn you because we're not speaking our words. We're not going with the imaginations of our own hearts, which is the mind. We're just going with what saith the Lord. Go ahead. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me. And, and our right, this righteousness is of him. This is not of us. This is of the Most High. Go ahead, Matthew. Saith the Lord. Matthew 26, verse 6. Now when Amashiach was in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment and poured it on his head as he sat at me. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Amashiach understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she hath wrought a good work upon me. For he hath the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she hath poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Well, verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman hath done, be told the memorial of her. And with
with that, we'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yasharala! Kwam Yasharala!